Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Photoshop action that's going to allow you to automate the entire process of building a step and repeat banner. These are used at press events and promotions uh, and make great backdrops for parties. So let's get uh, into Photoshop 6 here and this is what we're going to be looking at. And let's actually close this, start from fresh. And what we're going to do is we're going to open our action palette right here. And we're going to go up to our action. We're going to press play. It's going to ask us to select the logo. Now the computer is going to automatically line the logo, uh, logo up in a step and repeat pattern so we don't actually have to do it. And this is going to all happen very quickly. We're going to select another logo, which is going to go in the center. And now you can see we've made an entire step and repeat banner in about 30 seconds. So we'll go down to the window palette here and we'll go to Windows Actions and we're going to make a new action. We're going to call it Step and Repeat Banner. And now it's recording and we're going to make a new document and we're going to make it 120 inches wide by 96 inches high. And the nice thing here is that you can preset everything so the user can't make a mistake. And we'll call this uh, step. very pretty. And you can see that all this information has been recorded down on uh, this step here. Next, we're going to want to make a dialogue uh, to tell the user to upload a logo. And we're going to hit allow continue, which means the action doesn't have to stop. And next we're going to make it even easier and actually open the menu item for the user. We're going to say file open and we're going to say OK. So let's just stop this action here and let's just close it out and play it from the very start and just make sure everything's working. So if everything works, a new document should be opened called step and repeat banner. It'll say please select the logo. I'll select the logo and it'll open in a new window. Okay, very good. And now what we want to do is we want to resize this. So we're going to go down to the last window here and press record again. We can need to remember to record this. And we're going to resize this image. And we're going to want to make it uh, 15 inches, which is a good size for a step and repeat. And we're going to make it 150 DPI to match the document size. And we're going to want to copy it onto the original document. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stop the action now and place some alignment uh, guides in and you won't need these when we do them the first time because the computer will know where to place the logo. So what I'll do is I'll just create one layer here and I'll also create a new guide. Here, new guide. And this will just help keep everything aligned. And now what we want to do is we want to hit record again. And we're going to go back to my layer here and move it to where we want it. We're going to want to duplicate this layer. We're going to want to move it over here. And we'll duplicate this layer again. Now what we'll do is we'll get rid of this middle layer and we'll merge these two together, which is layer, merge down and duplicate. We'll delete this layer over the top that's not being used. Merge it down and we'll duplicate it one more time. Now 
Now it's important here not to use control A, control C, which is control like the lazy man's way to do it. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna merge these layers down and duplicate it because we want to keep the layers that aren't visible on the screen. So when we go like that, uh, we didn't want that to happen. Why did that happen? Okay, we can deal with it. I will show you how to deal with it in a second. Oh, there we go. There's the rest of our logo. So we do have logos off the edge of the screen. That's how we wanted to do it. Very nice. And we'll merge these two down. That looks very nice. And we will now merge those down and duplicate them again. So something's gone off here. I'm not sure what's going on. We're just off on this very last line here. Everything else is on. This is just one graphic seems to be a little bit off. We'll take care of that in a second. So now everything's looking pretty good. What we'll do is we will merge these last layers down. And I'm just sort of annoyed. I don't know why that is just a little off. But what we'll do is we will... Okay, so now it all looks how we want it. Let's stop the recording now and just get rid of our guides. That's why I had the guides in place. And we can get rid of the guides. Okay, that looks pretty. Now what happens if we want to take it one step further and we want to ask the logo to put or ask the user to put a large logo in the center here? What we'll do is we're gonna create one more dialogue and we're gonna say please select main logo center of repeat and we're going to allow continue so there's another dialog box and we're going to say file menu open and it can, it can be the same logo or it could be a different logo the user can choose file open and what that's going to do is we're going to hit stop on the record button here because we don't want to record this step we want to actually open the next or we we want to actually do that ourselves so we're going to go open it's not recording we're going to go back to select our logo this is our logo right here now we're going to hit record again and we're going to say image we're going to make this large we're going to make this now 38 inches across we're going to copy and we're going to paste this now on the original document. Very cool. So now we've made a step and repeat and we've also given the user an option to make a large graphic here. Now the nice thing is, is we can actually save this for the user. So what we'll do is we'll go to file, save as, and we'll save on the desktop. And we can actually make the right JPEG format and say
Step and repeat banner, ready to say, uh, ready to send the 858 graphics for print. Shameless plug. Save. And now we can make sure that the format options are right. Takes a while. <sighs> this isn't all my fault. I was uh, raised as an only child, which really pissed my sister off. <sighs> Unfortunately, the guy, guys, the jokes don't get better from here. Okay, now that's actually saved the file to the desktop. I actually should have warned the user that I was going to save the file to the desktop. So let me just insert a stop here and say, um, this file it is now uh, done. This file is, or this. Okay, so now it's time to run the action and find out if everything is actually working properly. Alright, let's hit play. Select logo, let's just select a random logo, Coca-Cola. Now it's made the step and repeat and asking me to add another logo. Let's add something I made a little earlier. And we can stop that there. So now we have a nice little open house sign in the middle of it. If we wanted to, for example, adjust the sizing, if we weren't happy with something, we could do a minor tweak right now. Perfect. That's the step and repeat. Now, what happens if you want to download this action uh, instead of just making it yourself and just use the ones that I've created? Uh, let's go over that task right now. What you would do is you would go to 858graphics.com and once you're on this lovely website here, you would go to Banners, step and repeat. And you can download this off the description tab here. When you do this, it'll download a zip file. You can open this uh, zip file up here. And you'll see this ATN file. If you double click on this ATN file, Photoshop's automatically going to open up. So. Let's actually just close our actions out here. Let's close Photoshop and let's pretend that you have just downloaded this action and you want to play it because it's going to save you a bunch of time, make your life way easier. Photoshop's going to launch. Now if we go to my window with actions, you're going to see that my step and repeat action here that I just saved or I just opened is going to be right here. So if you click on this, there are my three actions. Depending on which uh, step and repeat option I want, I can select them and they're uh, good to go. That was that easy to install. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and email me. Uh, 